Hi, I am Michelle Went, educator and a whole life practitioner with Staining the Gap. Today, as I am like going through and just sorting through and looking at everything that we have, I came across this um, the box that I have for the essence of the seasons, and I just wanted to share with you what is written on the back. For those of you that don't have this collection yet, um, my first question is why not. Um, but my second one is, I apologize because I obviously haven't educated you and helped you to understand um, what this collection does for you. In the meantime, what I'm going to do now is read to you the back of what's on this box just to give you some in, insight into this collection. It talks about the history behind the oils. This collection celebrates the era of sacred anointing and incense oils. Frankincense and myrrh were treasured by kings and sovereigns and were more highly esteemed than gold. Yeah, gold. Two millennia ago, these precious resins were carried by wise men from the east, traditionally called the Magi Kings, who appeared in Jerusalem led by a shining star. The star went before them until it rested over the place where the young Christ child was. The Magi presented the child with the most precious gifts known to the ancient world, frankincense, gold, and myrrh. Capturing the essence of the holiday, this kit includes the precious gum resins and essential oils of frankincense and myrrh and the fragrant essential oil blend Christmas Spirit. The oils and resins are not only emblems of the past, but the also future symbols of the quest for health and happiness. Now, this is not just a collection to be used for um, the holidays. This is something to be used year round. Christmas spirit, oh my goodness, the emotional and mental behind it alone makes a world life changing impact on your life and the loved ones that are around you. Back to the box. The Miracle of Frankincense and Myrrh. Frankincense originates from a legendary tree native to Southern Arabia one whose scrubby and unpretentious appearance camouflaged the resinous treasures hidden in its bark. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're going to bunny trail here, but I'm thinking scrubby and unpretentious appearance. That's like, that's me. I am not, yeah, I just don't always feel that I look like what's in me and there's jewels and wealth in each one of us that's to be cultivated and it's and called forth um man that makes me like frankincense even more okay end of bunny trail okay so this they called um the frankincense resin they called the perfume of the gods by the ancient egyptians but the frankincense gum and essential oils were coveted by successive generations of greeks romans and arabians more than 3,000 tons were exported each year for temple rituals, cosmetics, and to treat every conceivable ill from gout to a broken head. Okay, now let's think about it. Back then in ancient times, it's not like they had dump trucks, trains, planes. Uh-uh. When they were exporting, they were doing this by foot or using um, the backs of animals. Uh, this was an honor to actually be one of these transporters into bunny trail. The Roman historian, Pliny the Elder, wrote an account of the phenomenally tight security that surrounded the processing of frankincense. Quote, no vigilance is sufficient to guard the factories. Before the workers are allowed to leave the premises, they have to take off all of their clothes, end of quote. Oh my goodness, that shows you the value of this. And we have the ability to have this in our homes and in our lives today. That is amazing. Imagine if you had to go to work and you had to strip out of your clothes when you left work just so they could check you out. Yep. Okay, myrrh. Myrrh is a darker, richer, earthier aromatic, which was used to perfume the royal mummeries of Egypt and was one of the ingredients in the sacred anointing oil of the Israelites. As both an incense and an oil, myrrh was prized by the ancients as medicine. And those of you who have been following me, you know a plethora of myrrh and that it is one of the oils as well as frankincense that I use daily in my life and in my family and loved ones' lives. Okay, so here's the difference between gums and resins. Gums are water-soluble while resins are not. Gum resins, like frankincense and myrrh, are an intricate blend of oil-based residents and water-based gums possessing the properties of both. 
I like it when you can get the, the benefits of both worlds. Did you guys know, okay, bunny trail again, um, that our slick gum ha is made from frankincense resin? It's pretty cool, you should check it out. Okay, so how are gums and resins produced? Scrapes, incisions, or grooves are carved into the trunk of the frankincense tree and the large branches of the myrrh shrub. In response to the wound, the plants produce a thick, protectant gum resin called tears. The droplets are collected by hand and allowed to harden into small golden hued beads. Only a few tons of frankincense are produced each year. Wow, if this isn't like a metaphor for, for our lives as we go through and as we're growing and stretching and challenged um, on the mental and the emotional and the spiritual side. Love it. Okay, how were gums and resins used? Historically, resins were either distilled for their essential oil content or burned as incense. Small fragments of hard resins were placed in dishes and heated or were burned over candles. Their fragrance was said to be heavenly, exquisite, and intoxicatingly beautiful, reminiscent of prayer-worn altars of forgotten shrines. You can do that with the resins that are in here, the frankincense or myrrh. We actually have the burner that you can get, which is pretty awesome. Um, but you can also chew them. Check out your resources. Uh, the books, check out, even check out some of our trainings that we have, the classes or our videos that we have on our YouTube page or in our, on our personal business page, our group page, um, get the information. But I'm telling you this essence of the season, um, collection is worth it. And it is used year round, not just at the holidays. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to share with you what I thought was intriguing, what was interesting, and my bunny trails as I'm standing the gap to help you get from where you are to where you can and want to be. Be blessed.